Hello and welcome. This is another tutorial on Freelancer Mod Manager and how to. Uh, my last tutorial showed you how to download the mods. Now, this tutorial that was requested by a viewer and a subscriber is uh, how to enable the mods. Now, the first thing we're going to need is Freelancer Mod Manager. You can get version 1.3. Or you can get the version I use, which is 1.4 from uh, DB. Um, as you can see, I just googled that, and there it is. That's the. This is the most important tool. Okay, whatever. I'll get to you later. This is the most important tool you're going to need for doing any sort of mod. And then, of course. You want to browse the mods and find whichever one you're wanting to do now. The only one I don't recommend attempting is Shattered Worlds War Torn because I had to reinstall Freelancer due to that sort of just install and go. It's not actually like a mod kind of program. One that I would recommend getting, however, is Crossfire 1.82. They fixed a lot of bugs and stuff. It's a really huge mod. It's about three times bigger than Discovery. It's about ten times better looking than Discovery, and uh, you you can probably you can probably see me on that one pretty soon, because I don't really play Discovery too much anymore. But that's what I'm going to show you how to install, because um, this is the one that you're going to need. Okay, first things first. I know I left something out. Let me find it in a minute. Hold on. There it is. Okay. Just reinstalled my Freelancer actually. But I have all my other stuff here. It's like you can see I have, have Mod Manager, the patch. Whenever you download a Discovery Mod, it's going to be in like this whatever, you know, name.zip.fl mod or FLMM mod or whatever and it should have this kind of icon if you can't see it I'll bring it up there bigger it should have that kind of icon and when you double click it hopefully this will start working okay it, it's asking me if it wants to overwrite because I already have it and sure go ahead I can always re-update it and what it's gonna do is after you've installed Freelancer Mod Manager you must have it installed beforehand so it'll recognize what this is. It's going to automatically extract itself into Freelancer Mod Manager Mods folder. But you must have Freelancer Mod Manager installed to do this. Which I figured that was sort of self explanatory after I told you I needed it. If you after you needed it, so and it's just gonna sit here and it's gonna extract the entire mod into this. As you can see, I've played around with the 88 Flak as well, which is another pretty good mod. And if you want to do the update for Discovery, you can get that um, in a zip file and just have to overwrite and copy files or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's going to get done doing this. It has its own exe it uses okay now if this wasn't here beforehand it'd be here now so and see then it automatically opens up mod manager if not I have it does make its own icon for it so you can bring it up whenever now you have all these lists of mods all these X's mean that none's been activated yet and you can click on them and it has a description and it's got its own log file of what it loaded down here the descriptions up here and go to mods homepage view mod readme that sort of thing so you want to click discovery mod 4.85 or whatever mod you want to activate it's got this button here that says activate mod go ahead and click it then it's going to come up with mod options anything that you want uh, like view distance I'm going to put that on high spinning planets yes engine trails yes ENV series effect mod enabled no start out with maximum money for the server 
Um, open single player, you can adjust all this. Um, all factions are neutral. And then once you're done tweaking all your options, you hit OK and it, this bar is going to go up because it's uh, it's sort of make it's making backup files and it's also sort of redirecting some data to where you can actually play the mod. So we're just gonna give this another minute here. And it's got its own launch freelancer button because after you install it, it knows where freelancer is, provided freelancer is already installed. Uh, it's got a how do I make a mod work with, with FLMM, uh, troubleshooting and check for new version of itself in the mods and download more mods. Now, now you can see discovery has a check on it, that means it's enabled. All the ones that are red mean you can't enable them, they won't work. All the ones that are in orange might work but it's not guaranteed you might have instability or whatever and the ones that are just still black means that you can still use those like fresh start bit and speed mod however I don't recommend using them if you want to play online because uh, you will get kicked from the server and band or whatever now now you can launch freelancer and it should load uh, freelancer discovery mod 4.85 and if you got this version and you didn't update it it's going to ask you to update and then it's going to download the update and install it automatically and then restart freelancer automatically because the mod and FLMM are smart like that and now if you want to disable a mod you click the mod that you want to disable and you press deactivate mod and those backup files it did earlier it's going to put those back in their place and take the mod files out to where the mod still the mod still updated and everything it's just that you're back to playing the normal vanilla game and not the mod anymore and you have to do this if you're gonna switch mods and that should be it that should be all now if somebody needs help with crossfire if it's insanely difficult like the last one to get to work I might do another one on that but I got to download that one first so this should help you get started on your discovery um, if you want to do what I did and explore everything go for it um, that was a lot of fun in discovery me just flying around exploring everything if you want to RP that's fine too just point being just now you know how to get your mods working go out there and have fun Hope this helped. Thanks.